Hey, hey. Sitting here, actually lying down. <laughs> here in the backyard. My dog was with me for a little bit. But then he took off. He left me here. I just finished a bike ride. There are about a thousand things I'm supposed to get to. Oh. And, um, you know... When I take a bike ride, I say to myself, okay, you know, you did a little bit of a physical thing, now you get it back to work and this and that. And I guess one of the reasons for, you know, um, sort of the inroads I've uh, made in a bunch of different areas of my life is that I'm a very hard worker. And I don't say that, uh, hopefully, you know me well enough by now. I don't have any ego and vanity around it. Uh, I know that's something I learned as a child uh, on a farm. And my parents were great examples. And I was lucky to live on the farm, lucky to have those parents, and I feel lucky that it was instilled in me, right? I don't take credit for it. I'm just lucky to have it. Having said all that, here I am lying in the backyard on, a, on our little, I don't know, couch thing. And the number of times, uh, we've probably had this for a few years, the number of times I've laid down on it like this, this is probably the third time. And so you can maybe appreciate why I'm sharing this with you is, I'm maybe not excited, but... Uh, it's interesting when we decide to give ourselves permission, particularly permission to take a break, be nice to ourselves, take a moment, take two, take three, oh my God, take three for ourselves and do nothing. Now, maybe you're not like me at all. Maybe um, you do that a lot. And if you do, hey, more power to you. That's awesome. Me, I don't do much at all. And why today is my question. Did it work out? It is a Sunday. <laughs> uh, you know, and I, maybe because uh, both my kids are out of the house. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm just taking this moment here. And so I just wanted to share this with you and really encourage you to, you know, be kind to yourself. It's such a huge deal being kind to ourselves. Give yourselves permission to chill. You know, I think when we do that, it's uh, an act of faith. It really is. Oh, people are going by. I think it's an act of faith that you are safe to relax. We get so caught up, and we tell ourselves that there's things we need to get to, and not only do we need to get them to get to them in this life, and not only do we need to get to them this week, or even today, but now, now. And I think it's mostly, unless you're taking care of very, very little kids and they're playing near the stove. I think it's mostly bullshit. Uh, and I think it reflects insecurities and self-judgment. And we're not very kind to ourselves. So I dare you. I dare you. And I dare myself again to do this again soon. I dare you to, in the next 10 minutes, say, whatever you're doing right now, if you can possibly, and I bet you can, wrap it up or take a break and then give yourself, I'm going to say, five minutes to do nothing. And I'm going to put one little proviso on it just for mental health. Ironically, because you're watching this probably on some kind of media, uh, is I'm going to suggest you do it without any media, okay? Just sit there and be, oh no, bored. Uh, look out the window, think your thoughts. Uh, enjoy a can of soda pop or soda pop it's from the 1940s <laughs> or, or a coffee or tea or something, you know? Just do nothing, just for a few minutes. I think you're going to find, like I'm going to find right now, is by stopping and giving ourselves permission to do nothing, uh, nothing bad happens.